Tuesday on the second segment, we are joined by Basil Chapman. Basil hosts the Tiger Technicians Hour at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern Time right here on TFNN. If you're watching us on YouTube, make sure to give that stream a like. If you look over here on my screen, I'm on the TFNN website. We can go over here to the newsletters tab. And right here, you'll see the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman. Now, I talk about this newsletter the same way every week, but it's because I really do mean it. It is nice, it is concise, it is thorough, and additionally, he has a nice kind of weekly overview. One of the things I want to say as well is that if you are a subscriber, Basil does these live subscriber webinars. The last one was July 23rd. That is sectors and stocks to focus on in this next phase of the market cycle. If you have never subscribed to the opening call newsletter, just go ahead and do it. It is a 30 day money back guarantee. So for whatever reason, it doesn't work out for you. There is no risk, but we're going to bet that it is going to work out for you. Uh, we are joined by Basil Chapman right now. Basil, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. Thank you, uh, Jacob. Uh, we're all surviving the shock of uh, Tom's passing and uh, the inspiration that he is. And that's the reason why we want to just keep going. That's that, that would be in the milieu of Tom O'Brien. Yeah. You know, every time I, when I started working here, um, you know, I needed to get to know the host a little bit more, kind of on the back end. And every time, you know, he just, he'd known you for a long time and he just never had anything but praise to say for you and your analysis. And um, I, I think we're all, I can speak for all of us, say that we're lucky to kind of carry on his torch in the way uh, that we're able to uh, because of everything he built. And uh, for, for people like you, Basil, who were with him, uh, for a long time and helped him kind of build this whole thing. Uh, you created opportunities for so many people, and uh, we really appreciate it. So, Well, thank you. You've done a fabulous job as well, Jacob. So looking at the market, there are certain things that I thought I'd just go over right now for anyone who's uh, new to my work. Uh, let me get this chart up here. This basically shows that what I look for is the lowest low bar <clears throat> where I can start counting the waves to the upside. So the Chapman wave is the waveform that never sleeps. Each peak is labeled, each trough gets labeled. And on the way up, I like to look at four peaks. If the um, buy signal gets upgraded to a buy mode, it means that you should get at least four higher peaks and then other things can happen. It could recycle higher, it could pull back sharply, just that's where you do, the yellow light goes on and you do your analysis. So the first part is quite easy. <clears throat> Excuse me. What I am looking at here on the down the left side chart is the last buy mode. I went to a peak F and then pulled back. That's the sixth highest peak. But this last one went to the third highest peak, peak C at 43,325. <clears throat> if my analysis is correct, with this nine period moving average still very strong over the 14, with the MACD still positive, it's just about to turn negative, but it's still holding pretty well. The gray relative strength is doing nicely. The stochastic is flat. This um, green and um, red a moving average, you can see these two lines here. It's at 88%. Over 80% is great. Uh, 80, 88 to 95 is fabulous. That's what you want to see. When it's flat above 80% and holding, that's just a very good sign. And the blue line, this little blue line here is the unbalanced volume. It says it's a little bit overboard. So the most important thing <clears throat> is, and I'm going to go to this quickly. This shows you the nine period moving. I have only three lines here. One, the thick one is the Dow daily chart. The green is the nine period moving average. The black is the 14. <clears throat> And you can see from this V-shaped turnaround, or, <clears throat> excuse me, the August low, where we started adding positions, this green line has not turned pink at all. So that to me is really important. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the daily chart. The weekly chart has gone above the inside track. I call this the repellent zone until it starts. The price goes above it. Now it's a propellant zone. So this is positive. The technicals are still very strong, and the monthly chart has gone to a leg east. So, so far, that is all very good action. So I thought <clears throat> what I would say is, within this context of this potential cup formation, trying to get back to 43,325 to break it by a penny, to go to 43,325.10, I believe it is, yes, but above the 0 0.09 high, one penny above starts at leg D. Anywhere in this region, I'm going to start looking to see 
we haven't had any short positions for a while. At this particular point, I'm starting to say, I think we're slightly on a purely technical basis becoming a little overbought. Do we want to wait for another big pullback to add to more longs? Or is this an opportunity for short-term traders to go short? I'll be making those decisions in, in about a couple of days, I believe. So that's the one thing. <clears throat> the other is, in talking about this cup formation, I thought I wasn't going to do that, but I'll do it right now. I spoke to you, I think, last week about Solventum Corporation. Yep. It's the healthcare spinoff from Triple M. And I said that we've been long since the mid-50s. <clears throat> And then it ran up very sharply. I won't discuss this now. Maybe I'll do it uh, later in the week on my show, The Tiger Technicians Hour. This chapter wave instant restart where within three bars it made a higher high than D. And that I'd said I'd use this as an example of an instant restart. But if it goes much higher, then I think that it's just a single leg to the upside. And when it pulls back, it should, should pull back quite sharply. Well, it, it went to 73.40. We took uh, some profits from our core position, pulled back, started a potential cup formation. And then I said, we're going to add back our the, the positions we took off because this looks like it wants to make that pattern that I call the, the reverse Y. When it goes sharply up, pulls back from a high, comes down, and then goes back to the level. What happens at that level is really important. So far, it's holding very well. Um, we, we added back at about 68 uh, it went to 73 and uh, now to 72.29. So these are, these are positions that one of the, the type of thing that we're looking at for the opening call subscribers where we want to take, I believe, in money management. So we take little bits off as the price goes higher and then at an appropriate point we'll add back. For instance, you were just talking about uranium. <clears throat> we spoke about this, I think, last week. And I said, we've been long Uranium Energy Corporation. This is the second time we've been long. We're long earlier on. It had a huge move up, and then we got out. Lately, we've been back in, and we started to take profits. And what I was looking for was a test. Let me just move this chart. A test of the, the last high, which was at um, 8.34. When I did that the other day, it went uh, to the 8. 850s, almost 860, and now it's pulling back a little bit. So um, you had spoken about maybe a little digestive phase. I think we're looking at that, but it's still a very strong chart. Broke totally. through a new multi-year high in the weekly. So this is all acting very well. So this is the type of thing I give to subscribers to my opening call. Yeah, that's that's fantastic. I want to say as well, I know you don't have the chart up for it, but I've been following Hood uh, since you had spoken about it. And uh, it's doing well today as well, up 1.87%. Um, guys, if you want to see more of Basil, again, 10 a.m. Eastern Time right here on Tiger Financial News Network. He has a Tiger Technician's Hour <clears throat> and the opening call newsletter. You've got to check it out again. You, the analysis speaks for itself. Basil, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much, Jacob. Have a great day. You too. See you tomorrow now. Folks, stay right there. We'll be right back with Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle.